Good evening, guys. Yeah, heartbreaking news for the family of 14-year-old Savannah Quintero. She passed away this evening after being shot in the street on Wednesday, and police are still searching for the people responsible. You know you own video. Simply just turn yourself in. That message tonight from community activist Andrew Holmes directed at a trio of suspects wanted in connection with the shooting and now death of Savannah Quintero. She succumbed to her injuries and, uh, you know, it's a shame that we had to lose this child. The 14-year-old took her last breath Saturday at Comer Children's Hospital. The family is just uh, distraught right now and all the mother wanted to do was hear her daughter's voice. Quintero was leaving a corner store Wednesday at 48th and Wood in back of the yards. She was walking her dog with her boyfriend when surveillance video shows three men approach and one seemingly grabs a gun. According to Alderman Ray Lopez, they asked the couple about being affiliated with a gang, then opened fire. Don't know exactly where that came from. This is a baby. This is a little 14 year old girl that was shot in the head, execution style, cold blooded and the family just wants some justice. Someone else who knows the pain of loss all too well is Kamisha Pryor, whose niece was shot and killed back in 2015 in Inglewood while walking to the bus. She was 20 years old. Her name was Kaylin Pryor. She had just won the Mario Tricocci Make Me a Model search in 2015, like two months before she was killed. Prior among those gathering today in Inglewood as part of Wear Orange Weekend, honoring those who've survived gun violence and remembering those who haven't. You know, we still try to live each day, but it's hard because you always think of your loved ones. So being together is kind of a good thing. You know, you still cry, but you smile too. Shootings in Chicago are already up 20% this year on last, with almost 1,400 victims so far in 2021. While some survived, others didn't. And Pryor says the people pulling triggers across this city need to stop and think not just about the lives they're wiping out, but the lives left behind as well. We're alive, but you can say that we're not living. It's like a, a mask that we keep on to try to keep going, but we miss our loved ones so much. So I just wish that they would think of that. Now, hours after Kintera was shot, a 15-year-old was also shot on Lakeshore Drive Thursday night. She thankfully survived, but community activist Andrew Holmes and the 100 Man Standing Foundation are now offering two $1,000 rewards for information leading to an arrest in both of those cases. We're live at Comer Children's Hospital at Bruno Tumulty, WGN News. Brenda,